Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. This is you're very, you're very giddy. Absolutely hilarious. Um, I love watching Elon Musk take the media to task. And um, we got some salty comments in our last video talking about the New York Times losing their gold check, blue check. Elon Musk basically yanked their verification. And uh, my God, people are so pissed. Like they really think these news outlets are the absolute bastions of truth and integrity. Everybody thinks that their lowest lane and they're all Rita Skeeter, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, so now he's going after NPR and NPR, we did a video last week talking about all the layoffs, massive layoffs at NPR. Basically people stopped donating because uh, I think they're very politically biased. They are. And um, now Twitter has labeled them as a state affiliated media account. And um, because they are, you know, bankrolled by the government, partially. <laughs> NPR says it's untrue. NPR says it's untrue. The New York Post is like, piss off. New York Post is probably loving this because they got kicked off of Twitter, I think, over the laptop situation. Um, look, he paid $44 billion for Twitter. He can do whatever the fuck he wants. And I, I have to think that he paid what he paid because he wanted to do this. I, I think in part, he wanted to do this. I think... <sighs> I think that, I think that, you know, because it's not just NPR. No. I, I, if it was just NPR, I'd be like, well, that's, you know, you're not wrong, but you know, it's kind of, you shouldn't really probably put it on their, their, their count, but it's not just NPR for one. And I don't see how this is any different than Facebook or Twitter when anybody was posting anything, especially when later it turned out to be fact-based and they were saying that it was untrue and it was misinformation. Um, it was okay then. And a lot of the stuff that they were marking as misinformation is later turned out to be true. Um, they were fine with that. But, you know, marking it as state-affiliated media, they don't like. Yeah, so it basically says that they're they're paid mouthpieces of the government. But the thing is, is that technically they are. I mean, they get I mean, grant money. Technically they technically are. They get sponsored, you know, they corporations. But the money's running out anyway. And now they're like eating each other over there, I guess. They're, they're you know, attacking each other because they're, people are getting laid off and they're canceling podcasts, which is weird because podcasts are actually doing very well now. And you're a news organization, you must be doing something wrong. But yeah, they're gonna freaking eat each other. This is hilarious. It really is. I'm just <laughs> tell me how you really feel. Uh yeah. NPR, New York Times couldn't happen to nicer, nicer news outlets. So we're gonna talk about this. So weird because other news outlets are just kind of keeping their heads down. They're taking their gold checks. They're like, yeah, we'll pay a thousand dollars a month, whatever. Doesn't matter to us if you take out the competition. Well, there for them, it's a write-off. I mean, yeah, a lot is. of like so that's an extra write-off for me. I have to pay the government, so yeah, it works for me. Yeah. Um, it's okay. actually probably helpful to some of these companies. Yeah. Um, the ones that aren't, I'm like, well, you must not be making that much money then. Yeah. So let's let's talk about all of this before we get through any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Geeky will give you a woohoo if you subscribe. Woohoo! We should make that your favorite ringtone. Just woohoo! 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 <laughs> if you're mad at me, it has to be something You'd else. Be like, this is Geeky Sparkles. Woohoo! This is Geeky Sparkles. Woohoo! That's for your ringtone. Okay, well, it's, it's better than Star General Mine, mine is Star General Uterus. It is, yeah. I think you told people when you, sort of. Yes, like, yes. When you yes, call when me, I call Geeky, the phone. Really loudly goes, Star General Uterus. Everybody looks at me. Like, that's my husband. It's Gentle Uterus. We're sorry. Very sorry. Anyway, uh, New York Post. Twitter gives NPR's state. Gives NPR a state-affiliated media label. Basically, you are government propaganda. But did they give like PBS and other places too? Uh, they gave it to Russia Today and uh, was it uh, Jin Jinhao News China China News Outlet? They're basically saying it's it's state propaganda. Twitter attached a state-affiliated media label to National Public Radio's official account on Tuesday. Designation given to other government-controlled outlets. Uh, Twitter CEO Elon Musk highlighted the move in a Wednesday tweet sharing language in Twitter's guidelines that defines state-affiliated media as outlets where the state exercises control over editorial content through financial resources, direct or indirect political pressure, and or control over production and distribution. Well, I think that's a fair label then because, yeah. you know, one, it applies here, obviously, but two, that people are aware that, you know, if you're hearing it from there, just know that the government may have massaged the information. Massaged. Yes, the government is stroking NPR right now. But the government was getting everything else blocked as misinformation or, you know, flagging as, you know, 
false. And uh, Yeah. Now, NPR, the history, I'm a little spotty on. I think it was started back in the 70s. It was supposed to be kind of like our answer to the BBC or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then it kind that of became sense. a pretty much far left media outlet mm-hmm. that answers to the yeah, Democratic Party. It's fair that played across the board, but they don't. Uh, NPR spokesperson told The Post that the network has reached out to Twitter in an effort to get the label removed. You know, when The Post reached out to Twitter to say, hey, we checked our sources on this news and you just blocked us anyway because the government told you to. Mm-hmm. And that's exactly what happened, according to Elon Musk. Uh, they were told to piss off. Mm-hmm. Um, this must be a mistake as it contradicts Twitter's own guidelines, an NPR spokesperson told The Post. Well, it's been a couple of days and it's still... Where is it contradict Twitter's guidelines? Because I don't see how that's any different than telling their, than labeling other news outlets as misinformation. John Lansing, NPR's president and CEO, issued a statement which read, we were disturbed to see last night that Twitter has been Twitter has labeled NPR as state affiliated media, a description that per Twitter's own guidelines does not apply okay, to NPR. Okay, let me explain. So um, how? Um, state finance media organizations with the editorial independence, like the BBC in the UK or NPR in the US, for example, are not defined as state affiliated. Oh, so their policy does say. But was this policy one of those things that was written before he took over, like by their friends? So basically, we can, we can label you, but you can't label us. They oh. might have changed it, though. Oh, I think they changed it. Yeah, because they said state finance media organizations with editorial independence like the BBC and the UK, for example, are not defined as state affiliated media for purposes of this policy. So originally it was, yeah, he changed it. Here's, okay. (laughs) I, it sounds to me, and I'm sorry, you're not going to like me saying this, but it sounds to me like Elon Musk has a personal problem with NPR and he's just taking out NPR. I mean, well, I don't think that's okay. You got to realize, though, too. I don't like NPR, but I don't think that's okay. Elon Musk also has access to everything going on behind the scenes. That's true. And it might be a case of there's like DMs going back and forth from notable personalities in the government to people at NPR being like, run this, don't run that, do this, don't do that. That's true. But I'm just like, because I mean, it, it, the problem is if you can, someone has. Control, I can do whatever. It's no to me. That's no different than labeling things as mis- everything is misinformation because you don't like it or it doesn't contain the right narrative. I don't. I I don't want it to be the same coin a different side. You know what I'm saying? I don't care. If I know tw- you don't care. If Twitter fucking burns down, Twitter is the root of all of the cancel culture activist bullshit that's been going on for the last six or eight years. I'm not disagreeing with you. And. Okay. If Elon Musk throws some kerosene on it to burn it down faster, I'm cool. It's his money. If he wants to light it on fire and piss on that fire and laugh and take selfies as he's burning the shit down, I'm cool with it. I guess but my I'm thing cool is, like, if it's just, a, if it's just an um, arbitrary thing about who he's pissed at, what if you piss him off next and then, it's, you know. And it doesn't work that way with the government. Like, if the government gets pissed off at somebody, they don't start punishing news. Oh, right. They, and, yeah, they don't, like, set up, you know, hearings and court Yeah, stuff I mean, and, I'm just saying. And why this person does the exact same thing and they get away with it, this person does it, they get punished. The, yeah, I know, but still. They need, right is right. What they need to do, what they need to do is actually put a warning on Twitter because Twitter was compromised by the government for years. They've got that's true. all kinds of records of the FBI and people from the government telling Twitter what they could and couldn't do and what they could and yes. couldn't post. Twitter itself was, well, it was state affiliated media. How many other social media companies are state affiliated media? I just think this is. I don't hilarious. know. Facebook probably is. I'm they had sure. all those fact checkers that turned out. What's your qualifications to be a fact checker? <laughs> Apparently there weren't any. They're just <laughs> so. So this is the worst case scenario for these news outlets realize where you've got one guy that doesn't agree with your politics, has infinite money. You don't like him. You've been slamming on for years, and now he's got the keys to your candy store, and you're not allowed to get any more Three Musketeers. Well, I guess I, I guess it's no different than it's no different than all these other you know rich people buying up media so they can control the narrative. It's no different than that. Oh no, yeah. But but I don't agree with that either. So I guess where I'm sitting is I I think what you know if one's shit that so is the other. You know what I mean? Like I, I'm, if I'm gonna call it one, I'm gonna call it both because it wouldn't be fair otherwise or right otherwise. My sense of justice. I'm a fucking Gryffindor. I can't sit back and watch Injustice and be like, this isn't right. I am a Slytherin. I know. <laughs> here, 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 every time I test, I am a Slytherin. So I'm going to tell you I my take. I Ravenclaw one time. Uh, I briefly, 
and I came to my senses. Um, so I'm going to tell you my my take on this. Okay, talking about justice, uh, I think it is justice for the unjust to be treated the way as, they treated others, the yeah. way they treated others, and I think that's the point. I think the point is these media outlets are getting what they fucking deserve. That's true. After years of controlling the narrative, using the government to manipulate, using the media to manipulate, manipulating the public, they're getting what they, they deserve I, Elon Musk. I guess where I'm coming from is as the public, I'm just tired of being ping pong back and forth. I just want, I just, I'm tired. Like I said in the other video, I'm tired of everything being red, red glasses, you know, blue glasses. You're, you're looking through one of them and everything has to be, one extreme or the other. And there, there, the majority of people aren't in those camps of one extreme or the other. And I'm getting, I'm getting tired of it. And I guess that's where I'm coming from. I, I am as well. I, I'm looking at this. Just tell me the damn truth. I just want to know the truth. That's all I want to know. The problem is, is nobody can get to the truth because there are layers of bureaucracy and media control and bullshit. Right. Nobody can get to the truth anymore. Um, you know, maybe nobody ever really did get the truth. Maybe we for years foolishly thought that we were getting the full story. We never really were. But I'll tell you, in this case, Elon being a tech guy, he realized Twitter is the world's critical node. If you want to put an end to the media bullshit and the lies and the manipulation, you take out Twitter. You take out Twitter and it's a domino effect. It takes out. Well, why would you spend forty four billion dollars to take out Twitter? Because he can. But that's a waste of money. Not if you're trying to send a message. It's still a waste <laughs> of money. I'm sorry. If I had forty four billion dollars, I wouldn't use it to take out Twitter. Uh there's a lot more things I could do with forty four billion dollars. I, I oh yeah, yeah. But I'm just like I I'm just looking at this like I think his I could take out Twitter Twitter for like way less than that too. If you buy the right people and buy the right accounts, I could take it out. Well, Twitter. that's true. You could take yeah. out Twitter without spending that much money. Um, I think eventually, and this is, you know, I haven't been on Twitter as much as I was, and I've been trying to stay off of it because there's still crazy people on there. I think what he's trying to do, I think, I could be completely wrong, but I think what's what's going on here is basically just tossing a hand grenade into the middle of it, realizing it, the whole thing is going to have to be rebuilt. Like you can't salvage this. Like you're gonna have to knock the you're gonna have to raise the building and then build a new building on the plot. So have know? fun on the way out. Have fun on the way out. And I think that's kind of what's going on. I think eventually at some point in time, Twitter will be a different platform and it will be profitable. But first you gotta blow some shit up before you're gonna get to that point. So you might as well take out your enemies while you do it. I'm just more amused that NPR wrote an article about themselves. Yeah, let's talk about that. NP NPR denies that they're they're state propaganda. Yeah, this is just hilarious that they, there were you know, regardless of how you feel about Elon Musk, the NPR had to basically defend itself from this. You know what I'm saying? Other news outlets, other people have had to defend themselves from the media. Now M true. NPR has to defend itself from this this uh, stigma on Twitter. So how does it feel? How does it feel to have to write articles? Trans no, I'm not really a Nazi. Really, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, no, but that yeah, this is funny. NPR operates independently of the U.S. government. While federal money is important to the overall public media system, NPR gets less than 1% of its annual budget on average from federal sources. Well, there are actually a lot of their donations come from companies that are closely aligned with one side of the aisle, you know, or individuals. So that's just like 1% from actual federal, but yeah. there's definitely some, you know. Yeah, yeah. Knowing the millions of listeners who support and rely on NPR for independent fact-based journalism, apparently they're not willing to pay you because you're running out of money. John Lansing stated NPR stands for freedom of speech and holding the powerful accountable. It's unacceptable for Twitter to label us this way. Cool. So when any people that are their donors do something shitty, do they hold them accountable? I don't know. Do they? I don't think they do. I think I they just know, kind of turn, turn a blind eye. A vigorous, vibrant, free press is essential to help for our democracy. You're not going to have to worry about it. For much longer, John, I think you're fucked. People are not giving you money. You're eating each other alive over there now because you're all fighting over who should get laid off and who shouldn't get laid off. Just so you know, this video is brought to you by Neon Wine to gloat and have a good time because I didn't want to do this video. <laughs> so. I'll wrap it up. I Look, the this needs to happen. This needs to happen to more of these media outlets because they have had 
free reign for so damn long and nobody was allowed to question them. You were not allowed to question them yeah, at I all. I agree with you there. But I'm like, but why this one and not other ones? You know what I mean? It just seems like every day he's like he's picking on somebody else that he has a personal beef with. And I'm like, is it? Oh, about, yeah, I'm sure. I'm like, is it? If it was about like. If it was about actually changing everything across the board, that's one thing. But I think it's coming down to now. The, now the, the the other one is because they wouldn't pay for the check, but everybody else was. So you know they didn't get special treatment. But they're so pissed. The, look, the, oh god, I freaking love this. They're they're trying to make sure you know they're not the bad guys because they had a label affixed to them by Twitter. Oh, that's uh, okay. That, that okay. That'll give you. That'll give you. That's they, what's so okay. delightful uh, okay. about this. Now that I know what, what you're okay. Now I understand. Okay, go ahead now. The I abrupt. Know. I don't disagree with you. On this that. is NPR saying the abrupt appearance of the same label affixed to known propaganda outlets such as uh, the RT and China's People's Daily sets off a range of reactions from praise to outrage. Critics of the move saw it as another sign of Twitter's troubled relationship with the media, which has deteriorated since Elon Musk bought it. Basically, oh, we, can't control, we can't tell them what we can do. We don't want to be labeled fascists. We don't want to be labeled Nazis. Because, you know, that sucks. Like, it's okay when we do it to you. It's okay that if you don't agree with us about a cartoon or a movie, you're automatically a insert insult here, a bigot and alt-right fascist Nazi. But it's not, but it's yeah. not okay when yeah. you do it to us. Okay. It's okay. okay. I get you there. It's I get okay you there. that people in the media run with, oh, Clownfish TV is an alt-right whatever YouTube channel with no proof whatsoever. When we've said on multiple occasions, we are not. We've said multiple occasions, neither one of us is a Republican. In fact, I was a Democrat up until fairly recently. I became a libertarian. And I still, I still, my politics are still in the same place that they've been for like 20 years. So they're allowed to attach labels to people, but they're angry when it happens to them. That's what's so fucking delightful about this. That that's what makes me giddy because Karma's a bitch. Karma's a bitch. You absolutely deserve. You absolutely deserve to see what it feels like to be on the other side of it because you guys help perpetuate this shit. The NPR wrote multiple hit pieces on gamers, tabletop gamers, video gamers. They're all alt right. They're okay, all so Nazis. They, yes, they're all... Okay. Okay. Now I understand. Yes, I agree with you on that. Yes, they fucking deserve it. I, I yeah, I agree that karma. The karma is glorious, and they it is it is interesting to get taste or mess. Okay. I, I now I understand where you're it, coming from. It doesn't matter if Elon is right or wrong, being petty or vindictive or whatever. Because he is being petty and vindictive. He's I'm being sorry, absolutely but he is. petty and vindictive. But let him do it. Let him burn but, Twitter down. Let him burn the media down. Okay. So you're now I understand where you're coming from. Okay. When you said that, I'm like, oh no, I, I agree with you on that. Okay. I agree with you there. Good. So we'll we'll end on a high note where we agree. Right? I still think he's being petty and vindictive. Oh, absolutely, but, agree, but I'm loving it. I agree that, you know, sometimes the only way to people to learn what they're doing and how harmful it is is to be treated in the same way that they are treating other people. It's called the golden path. Somebody's gotta do it. Right? Somebody's gotta do it. It's, it's not. If it's not you. It can be Elon, right? <laughs> he can. He can. He can be the uh, the so god emperor. The golden yes. shower. It just depends who you ask. Gold. Yeah. So we're gonna wrap it up. Yeah. All right. Please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants, guys. We are not state funded propaganda, by the way. No. Um, no. No. The state takes a lot of our money. It doesn't work the other way. And that does not. All right. See you later. Bye. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.